I'm Jeff, and I'm here to talk to you about Feathered Friend sleeping bags. With 45 styles and a selection of sizes, we know that choosing the right sleeping bag can be a little overwhelming. While there isn't a single sleeping bag that can do it all, with the following tips, I'll help you find the perfect bag for your next adventure. When shopping for your down sleeping bag, there are three main characteristics to keep in mind. Temperature rating, shape, and length. First, let's take a look at temperature rating. A sleeping bag filled with goose down will give you the most warmth for the least weight. Ideally, you want to choose a sleeping bag that is rated lower than the coldest weather you expect to encounter. Though, if you're a particularly cold sleeper, you may want to consider choosing a sleeping bag that is rated 10 to 20 degrees colder than you might anticipate. Please keep in mind that temperature ratings assume you have the appropriate sleeping pad, use a tent, and are well fed and hydrated. A temperature rating in degrees Fahrenheit is at the end of the product name. Our sleeping bag lineup can be broken down to the following temperature ranges. Three season sleeping bags are rated 30 degrees Fahrenheit down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. These sleeping bags are our lightest sleeping bags. We offer most of the three season sleeping bags in two different fabrics, Schiller Nanosphere and Pertex Endurance Ultralight. Winter sleeping bags are rated from zero degrees Fahrenheit down to minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature, we introduce waterproof and breathable Pertex Shield fabrics for additional weather protection. Expedition bags are designed for the coldest conditions on Earth. They are rated minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit all the way down to minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. These sleeping bags are suitable for extreme weather conditions and high altitude expeditions. Perhaps you're headed out on a trip that you've never been on before. How cold does it get? Dig around and usually you can get a baseline temperature. This chart shows some general temperature ranges in some popular regions. Now let's look at sleeping bag shapes. The shape of a sleeping bag is particularly important for comfort. Ideally, the bag will fit snug enough for maximum thermal efficiency, yet roomy enough to provide a comfortable night's sleep. A mummy shape is the most efficient design because it contours to the shape of your body. This minimizes the amount of dead space and leaves an optimum amount of warmed air inside the bag. A rectangular or semi-rectangular bag will appeal to those who want some extra kicking room or want the option of a double bag. Bags designed for women have a bit more room in the hip area, less in the shoulder area, and are three to nine inches shorter than a regular length bag. Because these bags are a bit shorter, they also appeal to many men. Feathered Friends also offers double bags and a line of specialty bags. For each of our sleeping bags, we provide the girth dimensions, or shape, as a series of three numbers. For example, this diagram shows a bag that measures out at 60 inches, 52 inches, and 38 inches. These measurements are for the interior circumference at the shoulders, hips, and feet. Measurements for each one of our Feathered Friends sleeping bags can be found on our website. Last, let's look at length. The proper length sleeping bag will ensure that there's enough room to feel comfortable while not sacrificing heat retention. A regular length bag will fit a person up to six feet tall, a long length bag will fit a person up to six feet, six inches tall. For winter use or expeditions, some people prefer to have extra length to accommodate a water bottle or boot liners. In the women's series, a small will fit a person up to five foot three inches, a medium will fit a person up to five foot nine inches. If you have any other questions, come talk to the experts at Feathered Friends or go to www.featheredfriends.com.